Kiki is second day in Cameron Highland. Yes, as you can see, matching outfit. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we gotta go get breakfast. See Let's you go. there. So for breakfast, uh, basically there's this menu right here. And from this menu, you can actually choose anything that you want to eat. And what the server have said, after you have eaten, you can get another choice from here as well. So we'll see that later. Uh, for now, I get the classic breakfast and really excited to have that. Uh, I'm starving actually. I like to have the classic breakfast and the two style of eggs of any style. Can I have always eat with that? Yes. Start off the day with a cup of coffee. This is the environment of the dining room where we had our breakfast at and look at the sun ray shining into the dining room. Love it. Everybody is taking picture of their food and looks like everybody got savory items for the first round and there's a complimentary bread basket comes with it as well. I love the table setting here. So this is the classic breakfast I have it here. Oasis eggs, some hash brown, bacon, sausage and a toast. Of course there's some uh, tomato as well, cherry tomatoes. So now want to try the over easy egg. Just cut it a little bit more. And I'll take it, put a little bit of tomato puree. Delicious plastic breakfast item. Let's go with the hash brown next. Another good item. It's a deep fry to perfection. And of course, the last, the bacon. Okay. Just take it. Classic bacon. Never goes wrong. Alright, so I have a second plate with me right now. Uh, this is actually um, on an omelette, hash brown, the same tomato puree. Uh, but also I will be having some sweets later, uh, as you can see in the video later on. Get a refill of coffee as well, as you can see, it's great coffee. Uh, I'm just going to cut into this omelette and check out what's inside. Wow, look at that. Some cheese inside that omelette. And I see a little bit of green, I think it's broccoli if I'm not mistaken. But um, let me try a big bite. Mm. It's broccoli. It's very cheesy as well, creamy. I think the omelette is uh, a very good choice. Recommend. So this is my second round. I've ordered a savoury waffle. It comes with the beef bacon and mosh egg. So this is sambal hollandaise sauce, so let's give it a try. Ooh, it's so thin, it's still very runny. Still a bit of sauce. Mm. The waffle is very crispy and it complements very well with the sauce. Can you try with the bacon? Mm. The beef bacon is so flavorful. I think it's the best part of this dish. The pancake is really soft, it's quite fluffy, but it kind of reminds me of the one in JJ Delights. Mm -hmm. on the way, eh? So this is a sambal cheese toast. It comes with a side of a devil's egg and curry. 
It is suitable for those who enjoy Asian food for breakfast. I want to dip the toast in the curry. Looks so tempting. And look at that devil egg. Let me take a bite of it. Mmm, it tastes really delicious. Let's not forget about the Malaysian traditional food, nasi lemak. Comes with sambal, peanuts, hot boy eggs, cucumber slices, and a bowl of rice. Let's try it. Let's take a little bit of rice, a little bit of sambal. That will be a mouthful of flavor. We are currently at Lavender Garden. It's pouring outside, so we just park, and now it's pouring very, very heavily. Luckily, we just managed to get in a step earlier. And there is a lot of different flowers here. The entrance fee is actually fifteen ringgit per adult. For the child, it's ten ringgit. You can enter and just take a look at this area, walking around this area. It's pretty cool. Show around. Once you enter the lavender garden. You walk up to the store that sells ice cream. Specifically, it says Hokkaido ice cream, and it's famous for the two flavors right there. It's famous for the Hokkaido lavender flavor and also the strawberry flavor. Look at me pointing at the ice cream, and as you can see, it's a ice cream of lavender and also strawberry flavor ice cream. As you walk up from the entrance, you will see many of these little houses. And look at me, pointing at this wall, which is full of wishes. A lot of people come here to put down their wishes. And look at this panda waving hi to us. It actually belongs to the camera shop, and this is a place where you can take pictures and buy them. As we walk deeper into the lavender garden, we can see this castle. It looks so magical and so beautiful. Let's walk into this castle and find out what's actually inside. Wow, it actually looks beautiful, and I can see many huskies here. And here's a wall, full of flowers. I can see a lot of people taking pictures here. Now let's walk up to the lavender cafe. Let's find out what to eat here. We are walking into the lavender cafe, and at the first glance, you can see that it's selling different different pastries and cakes here. This is the view, looking down from the Lavender Cafe. What a beautiful view to enjoy a cup of tea with. As you pass by the Lavender Cafe, you will find this red strawberry stall selling strawberries. As you can see, they're selling the small pack for ten ringgit and the bigger pack for fifteen ringgit. And look at these strawberries. It looks so big. It looks juicy. And red somehow. It makes me want to have a bite of it. Look at him picking the good strawberries for us. It's big and juicy. Thank you, sir. Look, we have strawberries for days. Yay! Of course, we have also bought many many strawberries. And this is the main event, the lavender garden. Look at all of this lavender flower. It is purple and looks beautiful. There is also a lavender yogurt store here. Those who love yogurt, 
you can get the lavender flavor you got here about the self-picked strawberries as you can see from the sign it says go that way and it's upstairs for those who are interested in self-picked strawberries you can go up there to pick your strawberries there's a souvenir shop for any of those that want to get souvenirs back home this is a place you can go to get your souvenirs so currently having lunch at the uh, Jim Thompson tea room so what I get is a little bit different from yesterday this is the farmhouse style chicken pie okay so there's a gravy here I think it's a mushroom gravy and some salad here a mashed potatoes and of course the pie so let's cut into the pie and see how it looks like let's cut into the pie okay so at first glance as you can see it's quite flaky as you can see and the filling looks quite creamy quite good quite juicy actually hmm. okay it's good i like the mushroom in the um, chicken pie and also the chicken itself tastes very good very juicy actually yeah. okay, so the gravy the mushroom gravy i'm gonna pour a little bit on the mashed potatoes okay looks good adding a little bit of mushroom flavor to the mashed potatoes mm. it's actually quite fluffy as you can see the texture is just perfect I would say I would say it tastes good either way without the gravy or with the gravy so um, it actually depends on how you like it uh, I would say adding the gravy adds a little bit of the mushroom flavor to it just I've ordered the classic fish and chips. So we have three pieces of fish and then it comes with the salad as well as the french fries. Okay, let's see how is the fish. Looks very good and crispy up on the outside. Now it's just a little bit of lemon. Give it a try. For Asian food choices, we have fried noodles and fried rice. As you can see, both looks very yummy, very nice. Now we are at the Jean Thompson tea room having afternoon tea and you guys hear what I hear? There's some relaxing piano music playing in the background. I would say this room is actually a great place to have the afternoon tea because there's some great view looking outside and some nice weather going around. Of course also this sitting in front of me, this three tier afternoon tea set. We have here starting from the bottom some scones, some red strawberries second tier here we have some sandwiches and ended up with the top tier here having some pastries and sweets can't wait to have my hands on all for all of this so i think we shall start with the scone first so here's a scone mm -hmm. all right it has apart perfectly Mm. 
in the inside. How does it taste? Mm, it's so good. Great. And I like the strawberry jam so much. You wanna have a try? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. I wanna start with actually the strawberry because I see it's really red. It's great. So sweet. Next, gonna have some sandwiches here. And I see this tuna sandwich is so appetizing. Let me grab one of those. Let me have a taste. Hmm. It's very nice. The bun here or the bread here is actually so delicate. And the tuna goes very, very well with the bread. So when I eat it together, it just tastes beautiful. This is a cucumber sandwich. Let me try. Hmm. This sandwich is actually very refreshing because of the cucumber inside. It's a little bit of different, a little bit of savory to the sweets that we're having right here. A great compliment. Let's try the dessert now. This looks tempting. Can I have a bite? Sure. Mm. How does it taste? A mixture of both together with the cream, as you can see, it tastes perfect. Mm. It's really nice, creamy. I really like it because it is not too sweet. Definitely recommend it. At night, at the Cameron Highland Resort, we come up to this Christmas spirit all across the resort. And in the dining room, where we have our dinner tonight, as you can see, it is all fully decorated with Christmas decoration. It looks beautiful. The place just gave the Christmas ambience when we are having dinner. For dinner, I have the mushroom soup. As you can see, it's so creamy and it tastes delicious. And I also have the seafood spaghetti. I love the seafood flavor together with the spaghetti. And lastly, the lasagna. It is vegetarian, but it tastes delicious. Really, really good. Love the cheese flavor and the tomato flavor together. After dinner, we're walking up to the lobby and it's fully decorated, as you can see. The stairs are fully decorated with Christmas decoration as well. The whole resort looks so beautiful. Last day of us in this hotel. Stay three. We're gonna get breakfast now. After that, probably just hang around the hotel and check out. Yeah. See you at the breakfast place. Okay, alright. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>